Okay, everybody, here's a quick, uh, another quick little bit behind the scenes here of uh, Valley and Beyond Online Magazine. Uh, Michael Phoenix here, I'm the founder. And normally I do stuff outside as a market down the street. Unfortunately, with negative degree wind chill factors, it is way too cold out there. Um, but anyway, uh, recently I had a chance to stop by a place I've walked past God knows how many times uh, on West Broad Street and Bethlehem between, Go between Gutter and New Street. Uh, basically, it's called Joe's Tavern. The reason why I was there to check was, you know, I wanted to head out, take a break from doing the magazine, head out, grab a, grab a beer, maybe buy, uh, grab a quick bite of food, and check out a band, you know, just chill out, had a, you know, and listen to a band that I, that I was familiar with. Uh, quick plug to Kate and those guys, great, fantastic job, as always. But anyway, uh, now Joe's Tavern is basically, like I said, it's, it's easy to walk by. Um, I've been in the area over four years now, and I'm still finding a lot of great great places here in, in local businesses here in the in the Lehigh Valley ones that I'm like I walked past that for the past two years and just didn't even know it was there um, so anyway but <clears throat> just a quick uh, ask the bartender right off Joe's Tavern is also part of the living history of the Lehigh Valley and by living history I mean that they have been in, in existence here in the Lehigh Valley for 50 Five years. No matter where you live, you always hear talk, people talking about, oh, what used to be. Well, here in Leah Valley, there's a lot of great places that are a true part, living part of the history of the of the area. And Joe's Tavern happens to be one of them. Now, when you walk in, when you walk in the door, it's basically you have the bar on your the bar on your left, tables on your right, and basically a long a long narrow walkway. Uh, what makes Joe's really cool is this is your typical street corner bar and place to hang out. Okay, while I was there, I was watching. I was watching the crowd. This place has a lot of regulars. It was packed even without the band. That place would have still been packed. And considering the fact that the roads were supposed to get bad, and the temper, the, temp the temperatures and the wind chills were near zero. Yeah, that's really good for a place. Uh, but basically. Um, like I said, it's your typical kind of like Cheers in Google TV show if you're not if you don't remember or not familiar with it. A uh, place where you can where you can go in, just sit down, even if you don't know anybody, and they make you feel welcome right away, which is very important. You know, I you know grabbed the grabbed the uh, the only available seat at the bar, and bartender. Bam, right away, hey, where can I get you? And I looked at him and said, okay, what beer specials do you have? He started firing down. I said, he goes, what do you move for? He said, whatever's cheapest. You know. Um, so, basically, 250 pop, 250 for a Miller Lite draft. And then I saw that they uh, looked up at the, I was a little hungry, I looked up at their main board. And I was like, okay, half price appetizers. I got, while I'm here, might as well try the food. So, ask for a menu, and I, and I have a weakness for homemade pierogies, okay? So, I was like, all right, yeah, I can do it, you know, but not a problem. I can, I, I can squeeze this, more, you know, a couple bucks out of the budget. So, basically, uh, now this place, I will tell you one thing, their food must be good because I, I saw so many times the bartenders uh, bringing, out, bringing out food, okay? So their food must be very good there. Now, when you you know it was five, and you, you know look at the photo, five small per, uh, pierogies. But I'll tell you what, God, they were good. They tasted just like the ones that that you can buy at a church picnic that are homemade. Okay, seriously, God, the food was good. And for the price, even at the normal price of two fifty, fifty cents a pop, that's a damn good deal. The price is there. For the food are actually a, good, a very good value. I saw uh, the food, you know, the food being brought out to different people, burgers, appetizers, samplers, etc. And it is it is a good value for the price, and the prices are very are very reasonable at Joe's Tavern. Uh, the like I said, the overall atmosphere there, it's your typical street corner bar, you know, city or town bar. Uh, you go in, you chill out, you relax. A, a few people actually started up a, con a short conversation with me, you know. And I, you know, for, 
for the over about an hour and 15 minutes I was there, I, I completely forgot about the magazine, the stress, life, everything, which is very, very difficult for me to do, no matter where I go. Usually when I go out, it's like, I'm the type where it's like, okay, you take, I've been told this, you take one look at me and just stay away from me. Don't come up to me, don't say hi to me, don't do nothing. But at Joe's Tavern, I sat down, you know, at first I was like that, but then it was like just naturally I was able to relax, and what was outside that door did not exist to me at all. The man, like I said, you know, I mentioned a couple people, you know, brought up the magazine, you know, I always have to be promoting. But other than that, the magazine, life, stress, nothing existed. So if you're if you're in bed, if you live in the area or are visiting, definitely uh, check out Joe's Joe's Tavern over on Broad and New Street between over on Broad Street between New and Gutter. Uh, you know, stop by one night, check out the food. The service was fantastic. Everybody behind the bar was seriously busting their ass and staying on top of everything. The drink orders, the food orders, everything. Nothing I observed was del was delayed unless, you know, okay, well, they're trying to hit five people at the same time. Excellent service, excellent food, fantastic atmosphere, typical small town, uh, your typical small town bar and place to, and place to go and hang out. Highly recommended if you live in the area or if you're visiting. Michael Phoenix, founder of the magazine. Thanks for all the support. Stay safe. And if you live in the north or northeast, above all, stay warm. Take care, everybody. I'll see you around later.